All right, we're checking out the only game where you can take people's hideous Photoshop creations and see whether or not they will fly in real life. It is fly out. Here with our boy, the fearless low IQ, like dollar store maverick. It's Maverick. Maverick is here today in order to find out whether or not different Photoshop planes will fly or if they will kill him immediately. Okay, so I saw a lot of references to this plane. It is a plane that is a spring. It's like the slinky of planes. So I actually went ahead and I made a mesh for this so that we can use it. And it looks <laughs> like this. Hold on. <laughs> so it's pretty legit. Like we have ourselves a, a, a spring plane, or at least the fuselage. Go ahead and get this centered up. Actually, let me go ahead and make this, put some, uh, put some wings and some power on it. All right, I went ahead and threw some turbines on this thing. I made it look a little bit more legit as well. Like, I mean, it's it's pretty legit. There's no space for, you know, <laughs> actual passengers. Maybe like- Great, where's the vertical stabilizer in the back? Doesn't need it. Obviously, I had to throw some afterburner on here. We're gonna start like this. I just want to see if it can get off the ground. All right, Maverick, how you doing? He's like- Not so hot, Gray. The plane's moving. You haven't even started to accelerate yet. Oh, it'll be fine. Here we go. Okay. Uh, it is very heavy, I will say. I can already feel it. Oh, God. All right. We're, we're you know, we're Tokyo drifting a little bit. Well, we're Tokyo drifting a lot. Yeah, we are Tokyo drifting across the entire... Oh, God. Uh, I'm pretty sure that my pilot just went head... For yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think he just went head first through a wall. I'm actually kind of curious. Can the, uh, can the autopilot do anything about this? Hold on. Okay. Uh, vaguely staying on center line. Okay, never mind. Not staying on center line at all. Yeah, we're gonna need vastly more power or more lift or both. I like how in the end, after this thing crashes, like there is nothing left. The entire body just absolutely evaporates. All right, wings, you gotta help a brother out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and like stretch the wing out a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean like, you know, make it twice as long. Yes. Good. I can only imagine the planes like screaming in agony. It's like, no, no, great, no. Ah! Nice. Might even want to crank these up a little bit. What's this cost to operate? $28,000 an hour? Rookie numbers. Yeah, just crank that temperature up a little bit. Let's let's get that up to about 40 grand an hour of operational costs. Why not? I'm going to make the body out of carbon fiber. There we go. I like that spring look. All right, Maverick. Don't worry. I did what any good pilot would do. Well, I guess engineer would do. I put more numbers into the plane should be fine you know in retrospect i probably should have changed up the uh the wings a little bit more when it comes <laughs> sticks to landing oh he was doing a full front flip i thought he was gonna land like right up did he oh no don't worry the seat well no never mind his head is actually like you know glitching through the ground okay i might need to make a lot more lift Turns out trying to fly a spring is not as easy as it sounds. Okay, let's move, let's move this like way over here. Yeah, that's nice. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going all the way. More, more wings. Just shove those right up this thing's nostrils. That yeah, looks good. The other thing that we can do is just put more engines on. Oh here, yeah, just go ahead and duplicate those. I don't know, throw them, uh... oh. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Just, just meld them inside the first set of turbines. What is this, like 40,000 per one of these? So we're at uh, like 160,000 $160, an hour to operate. I'm not gonna lie, if the pilot's anywhere near the engines, he's deaf now. Um. Okay, I've got an idea. All right, since I didn't give it a tail the first time, I went ahead and doubled up. I mean, why use one when you can have two? 100% this is gonna stay on the runway now. Oh, yeah. Look at that right there. It's glorious. Come on, baby. Get up in there. Come on. You can do it. You're burning a lot of fuel. 
You're gonna run out of fuel before you actually get up in the air. <laughs> Come on. Left it. Left. Oh, that's a town. This is. This is bad. Bye bye. I just went through the planet. I decided to pilot this thing. The spring plane was so powerful. I literally went through the entirety of the universe. I am under, where's my guy? Where's Maverick? I think this is the first time he's legitimately died. Not because, you know, his life ended normally, but because he got atomized. Come on, baby. Come on. Lift it. You can do it. 210. 216. I am with this! <laughs> the spring plane is up and it is kind of awesome. Oh, actually, it looks really cool. <laughs> I love how one of the. Oh God. The landing gear is just coming out of the side of the plane. <laughs> now you may be saying. But a gray, how does it steer? God. Okay, not great, not great, not great, not great. We're fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're at like six billion G-forces. I'm still alive though. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, hold on. I gotta pull back on the, on the energy here. All right, passengers, we are descending out of 74. Okay, never mind. We're not descending anywhere. We're literally just heading straight for the ground. It's real bad. Uh, hold on. Don't worry, I watched flight. Just like Denzel, we're gonna roll it. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna roll. All right, we're not, we're gonna roll it. We're gonna hit the ground. We're gonna hit, you know what, hold on. Might as well hit the ground as fast as you can. Yay! I love how if I hit the ground at full speed, I can't go through the planet, but just like trying to take off in the spring plane, I went through the planet. Okay. I've seen many a shark plane. And so I'm putting one together right now. And I think this looks legit. You like the, the engines just coming out the side of the mouth? It's like the shark smiling. It's happy to see you. Probably center this up a little bit more. There we go. I want to make sure that my guy is like perfectly riding on the fin of the shark. What kind of material do we have for a shark? Oh, a shark with glowing pink wings. I like it. I learned my lesson, so I've already cranked up the the afterburners and the engines a little bit here, temperature-wise, so it should get us off the ground. You're gonna notice the cost to fly the shark, low. Look at that right, look at that right there. <laughs> Not the cost of the shark, the cost to fly the shark. Okay, looks good. My shark looks a little derpy. It kinda, it's, it's kinda sagging. I'm not really sure why. Um, cockpit placement is strong. Sounds like a legitimate plane. Uh, does the tail actually steer the the plane? Probably not. Oh God. Hold on. We got a little bit of sparkage coming out here. We're fine. We are okay. I can save this. <laughs> Never mind. I can't save it. Hey, ho, ho, ho. And sticks the landing. Nope. Got to do 3,500 more flips. Still flipping. We are still flipping right now. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. I didn't catch what the G-forces was at, like, its maximum amount. I gotta see if I can get this thing up in the air. I might actually need to pull back a little bit. I might need to space the, uh, the landing gear a little bit out, too. Oh, God. Hold on. Don't hit it. Don't, never mind. Ah, woo. 45, 60 something Gs. <laughs> All that's left is a fine pace where Maverick used to be. Let me see if the autopilot can do better. I love that the that the the little fins of the shark are kind of stabilizing the plane. Yeah, I definitely need to move the landing gear apart. Oh, never mind. Hold on, hold on. The autopilot might have it. Look, come on, pick it up, pick it up. Yay! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, this thing flies terribly. <laughs> God. Woo! Yeah. Oh. Hey. Not that many flips. I love how the. Oh, I say that, and then it goes up to seventy-five Gs. 
I love how the character gets more distance just spinning around in the cockpit than actually flying in the shark. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab these and let's go ahead and move this a little bit. Let's, let's put that way out here. I think it's lower than the fins. Yeah, that looks all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Well, the problem is I need to move the, uh, the front landing gear. It's a little, oh, it's a little jacked up. Let's, uh, put this in the right spot. There we go. Were I a more precise man, I would make sure that it's exactly on center line. Realistically, though, I don't care that much. Okay. Uh, feels better. Well, oh, maybe not. Hold on, we're drifting. <laughs> the stupid shark tail going off to the side is really screwing me over. Okay, full drift. I like it. Nice. Oh, fell through the planet again. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even tell what happened. It's just a white screen. I think I may have broken the game. Um, or I'm in heaven. It's totally possible that Maverick has, you know, transcended pilotism and has ended up at the gates of glory. That's what Valhalla looks like, huh? Honestly, it's, it's a little, little bit more boring than I would have expected. I just, I just needed to know. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, it looks kind of awesome. Like, the, the wings just go on forever. But if you notice, it's not waggling back and forth now. It is going to end up scorching the entirety no. of the... <laughs> I was going to say the entirety of the, uh, the runway with Spark. Uh, and then it just, it just disappeared. It just ceased to exist good Could probably increase the size of the landing gear a little bit hey shark how you doing the shark's like not great gray not great there we go landing gear height all of it <laughs> okay at this point i mean i fixed everything there's there's no way to improve this design oh no okay maybe there is i need to increase the height of the front landing gear it's kind of just aiming at the ground very, very precariously. I will say, it does fly pretty straight. Uh, the acceleration is absolute garbage, though. All right, Shark, here's the plan. You got to you gotta get up before we get to the village, man. Uh, it's, it's coming up. It's getting close. It's trying. He's trying to rise up. Bounce, Shark. Bounce like a dolphin. Like your dolphin friends. Porpoise. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> Trying to get those G-forces into- there we go. I wanted triple digits. I want at least 100 Gs. When in doubt, more turbines. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna- just- just go- just go all the way, Gray. There you go. You know what? Why stop there? Honestly, hold on. Alright, we're ready to roll. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Am I floating? Oh, I'm floating. It is working. Oh, yeah. The shark is in the air. God love lift. That's what I'm talking about. The shark is penetrating the atmosphere like never before. Look at its glory as it searches for prey in the skies. Imagine being a bird, like, you don't just get sucked into the turbines or something like that. You actually go through, like, the teeth. All right, landing gear down. Uh, coming in super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Ew. Oh. It flew. That's the biggest, that, that was the biggest achievement. Oh, what the? What happened? Where'd he go? I love how every once in a while he tries to escape fly out. He just like tries to leave. I'm, I thought maybe he would be down here. I can't find him. It's like, where's Waldo? He's just gone. Okay, so I want to put something together vaguely similar to the, I don't know what to call it. I guess like the, uh, the spurts air plane. You know, it's like a, it's like a Photoshop spirit air with like a million engines just growing out of it like a cancer. Don't mind me. Just, uh, <laughs> 
Oh god. <laughs> this is one hundred thousand dollars per hour per engine. May say great. Do you have enough space to continue to put these on there? Yeah, I think so. There are wings. Uh, you just can't see them. Hold on, I can make the wing bigger so we can actually see it, like in the picture. Uh, let's see. Can I yank it out like this? There we go. Yeah, that's better. Will it allow it to fly any better? I mean, probably not. I'm messing with the fuselage. <laughs> I've got like a kink in it. <laughs> like it's bent. <laughs> Look at this. I've got uh, fuselage dysfunction syndrome. I wasn't going to end up not having enough landing gear this time, so I decided to do this. I mean, yeah, I kind of want to know how this flies. All right, moment of truth. Will this thing actually get up off the air or will it just burn a hole in the atmosphere? Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at the exhaust. Oh, it is right on the cusp of wanting to not be able to, like, run the game. Uh, uh oh. Well, oh, he's sliding. Look at that. Kind of like, uh, kind of like ice skating. Huh. That is the safest ejection I have ever seen this guy have. All right, autopilot. Let's see how you do. No better than me. Oh! All right, it's fine, it's fine. Gonna move some of this landing gear around. There's one thing I learned, it's always to max out the height of the landing gear. Yeah, sure, the middle of the wings are overrated. You just need that, like the end and the front and it should be fine. God, what a nightmare. All right, cursed plane, you know what to do. Okay, look at that suspension, wow. I need to like zoom out because the sound effects are just awful from all of the exhaust, okay? Ah! Uh-oh. Well, that ain't good. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, we did get off the ground! Full back flip, and six the landing! Woo! <laughs> uh. Come on, baby. You just need to get off the ground. Just need to get up, all right, or not. Or we could slide worse than we ever have before. Oh God. I love the shock wave when that thing hit. See, it's like a bomb going off. Okay, we got a much more controlled takeoff here. Okay, well I say controlled. All right, maybe it's not controlled at all. Um, well, I am kind of recovering. Well, rec recovering may be a little bit too, uh, too grandiose a word for what's happening here. Come on, baby, bounce off the ground. Bounce off the ground. Oh, God. Okay. I can definitely get into the air. All right, maybe I should have stretched the rest of the wing out. All this issue is because my fuselage wow, 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 is crooked. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. I'm giving it one millimeter of skin. The entire plane. One millimeter. I had to get that mass down. About to find out whether or not that was a terrible idea. Um, okay. Gain in speed quickly. I like to see it. Okay, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh-huh. Very good. <laughs> Full flip. Uh-huh, okay, the wings have dispersed. You know what? It got off the ground. And it landed <laughs> without blowing up. How crazy is that? I'm kind of impressed. It is like right on center line. Hey! Whoa! What in God's name? That was the autopilot, by the way. Come on, baby. You can do it. Just one time for Gray. One time for Gray. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. We're fine again. We're not fine again. Ah! I mean, I guess it's technically flying. <laughs> Wings are overrated. And a perfect 10 out of 10, completely safe landing. Maverick, you're a good sport.
Well, it turns out that out of every cursed plane, the one that would ruin the planet the most is apparently this one. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Flyout. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.